there comes the question of what we are actually going to be doing today. I have given myself a challenge. In Minion Masters, there is a tab known as the leaderboard. In the leaderboard, you can see the top players in different categories of Minion Masters, and not only that, you can see the decks that they have made. Now, I don't have all of these cards, but what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to put together as close an approximation I can to these decks. We're going to see just how many wins we can get in each of these categories with that. If we get a lot of wins, then it'll show that these are some genuinely good decks. And if we lose a lot of matches, then we can blame it on the deck compositions themselves. I'm just kidding. I'm distracting you from your match. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just that kind of a personality. I come in and I'm like, hey, I demand your attention. But today we are going to be trying to put together some decks based off of these. And for the cards that we don't have, like I know for sure that I don't have Colossus. He has eluded me for so long and it frustrates me every day. He stands there mocking me because I just want him to get in my deck. But for those, we'll replace them with a similar card or as similar as we can get. To start us out in our deck making on the number one spot we have a cat which honestly that is way too poetic since my name invokes from a dog so if we end up losing then it is just because corgis are natural enemies with cats not really though i've seen them get really cuddly with a lot and it's super adorable but for this one let's start building our deck together So let's see, we need archers, and we need swarmers, we need a Danny Phantom Cannon. So let's get those in there. Let's see how these end up doing. Ghost Turret, we're going to need some Acid Splashing Chaos, Assassin, Brothers of the Void. Wait, do I even have Brothers of the Void? I should, I should, shouldn't I? Brothers, no I don't. So what is the secondary card that is in there? Fire Imp, so let's go ahead and just put one of those in there. Malshar Shadow Fork, the Reaper Cosplayer, Shadow Whelp, Stixie, we don't have Colossus. So let me quickly fill out the big boy that we're going to have at the very front. It's going to lead our deck to victory. You know what, I, I am down to put Modred in here. He's just as scary as a Colossus in my mind. Now here's the question. We can't use Mordar for our master because I haven't gotten him yet. Mordar has an AoE effect. Is there anybody else that we have that has an AoE effect? Not necessarily. Okay, I'm going to go with uh, Ravager just because I love Brutus so much. And we'll say this. If we lose our first match, then we'll switch over to King Puff. You picked the Alpha. Now did I now? We shall see. try and go for a Stixie right here and get crossbow dudes up on this gate just so we get that XP. Oh dear. Right. That's gonna be a problem. Okay. They get Shadow Whelp just to deal that massive amount of damage at the start. Ooh, such satisfaction. Oh, looks like Modred's going down. That's pretty good. They're already down to 640 health. If I can get Stixie on the south, that'll 100%, yep. How, that only took two freaking minutes. Come on! Uh, it looks, I mean, it makes sense that the number one Minion Masters player in solos would know how to create a good solo deck. But without wasting any time, let us get into our next match. This deck by Cat has earned us our first victory. Alright. See. Hey guys, Future Korg here. First of all, thank you for watching the video so far. Secondly, what you guys just witnessed is what we in the Minion Masters community like to call a stealth fart. They don't really call it that, 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 that's probably just me. I'm just weird that way. But, as my past self will point out, oh, that was a stealth. Yes indeed, you 
poor, helpless fool that was indeed a stealth minion coming into existence. Basically, when a minion has stealth, it makes them invisible until they take damage or deal damage. I just thought it best to point that out now so as to explain some of the absolute wonderfulness that is about to occur. Enjoy. What if we just put one stealth versus one stealth? I didn't see if it was a whelp or not. Okay, so he's just an assassin. One assassin for another. I want to bait out all of their stealth, wherever it is. Oh, it was over there. Okay. Hopefully this distracts that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, f all the stealth. Is this just a stealth heavy deck? What can a memer do when their meme deck gets encountered by another meme deck? I feel like it's gonna be right here, whatever it is. Yeah, got it. I feel like I'm playing the world's most advanced game of battleship. Big boy. Oh, sh I forgot they had a Setsu. <laughs> I completely forgot about their master. I've never seen anything like this before. I've never seen anything that cheesed out stealth as much as that deck. Ooh, Volko plus stealth. That's kind of funny because Volko to me is the like least stealthy person. Cause like Ravager, Ravager, when you look at him, like, even though he looks kind of weird, you imagine with all of his claws, he could, like, scale up walls and things like that. Diana just looks like a rogue ranger combo if she was in D&D. Setsu would probably be the one who would be the least stealthy, you would think, but since she's so futuristic, I'd imagine she has, like, some kind of cloaking technology. Mordar, he's a skeleton. No one's ever gonna expect a skeleton. But Volko, this lad just looks like the least stealthiest person you'd ever see in your life. He's the barbarian of any D&D group. So I'm, I'm going to say that that, 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 one, that one was just such a wonky deck to go up against. We're, we're going we're gonna to send this deck in. I actually, uh, so I, I play as a monk in one of the D&D campaigns that I'm a part of, but he's a way of mercy monk. His name is Gron Stonefist. He is a literal superhero. His superhero lair is a tavern called the Dead Dragon Tavern. His superhero vehicle is a is a boat, because I can never make anything normal. So we got. I just wanted to get the XP from those bridges there. Fant oh no! <laughs> this poor mana puff. He has no idea what's coming his way. <laughs> oh, oh, that's. Seems like it should be the end of that. Yep. Chosen Waffle of the Chicken. <laughs> he wasn't the chosen one. He was the chosen waffle. And that's gold rank four, damn. With with 10 points to spare. So far this deck, as long as somebody doesn't cheese out stealth, is going pretty good. Alright, alright, there we go. We've taken both of the bridges. Good on us. This seems to be a swarm deck, and my fire imp decided to go on the exact wrong direction. But, uh, I think these guys are in for a bit of a rude awakening. Or how shall I say, rude nightmare. Because it's Modred King Nightmare. You, you get the joke. I want to back up Brutus because I don't want him to die. Oh no, Brutus. Brutus, buddy, get out of there. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, Brutus. Come on, no! Hello. <laughs> Just when you thought you were done with it, it rears its ugly head again. <laughs> get... get... <laughs> he just f***ing popped him from both sides. Okay, this is going pretty good. This is going pretty good. I think we're gonna be able to... Yeah, we're definitely gonna be able to... Look at it. No, no chance. There we go. We're gonna play one more match, and then I'm gonna give this deck a rating. Ooh, there he is. There's the big boy. Yes, Madrid. Come on, bring it home. Oh, listen here. You can fireball as much as you want. I don't really have anything to follow it up. I, I can't stop this guy from fireballing. Ah, one life for another. Oh! Okay. 
that's how you know a deck is good when it can win you a match without you even paying attention to it this deck i really like it doesn't really do really good against constant stealth spamming but maybe that's just because it's a stealth spammy deck as well just a little bit i'm going to assign this deck a nine out of ten <laughs> Actually, no, that, that, that's not fair to say because that was just a really weird deck to go up against. I'm going to assign it a 10 out of 10. Cat, congratulations. You have been given my highest mark. I'm sure that you're very proud to receive this great achievement in your life. It's not like you're already at the top of the leaderboard and don't really need me saying this, but, you know, I just thought I'd point it out anyways. You're doing great. Next, it's time to go to uh, someone who obviously has a 200 IQ brain because their name is their Twitch name as well. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Carlum00, plugging himself in the channel, and he's not even here. Let's get, let's get this deck put together. The second deck of the night. We're also just going to call this deck... We're going to call it content. Because subtlety is dead. Twitch.tv slash Carlin00. Let's see how your deck holds up. We're going to start off with a Bridge Buddies and Once Bitten. Followed by Gr Is this... This is just spells and stuff. There's no, like, pure minion-based stuff. Weird. Okay. Uh, okay, so Bridge Buddies and Once Bitten. This is going to be an interesting one. I don't know how this one's going to play out. I don't have once bit, so I'm gonna need a werewolf style card. There it is, Lone Wolf. Well, we'll have that be exchanged for it. Gorak Sacrifice. That one is one that I am sure that I don't have. Hmm. I'm gonna replace that with Gorax Date, just because it's another Gorak thing. <laughs> Blind Date. Please tell me this is one that I have. I don't wanna look like a sham. There we go. Okay, so Blind Date. We have Chain Lightning. Dragon Nest. I don't have that, but I can summon in some flightless dragons. We'll do that as a as a substitute lightning bolt. I feel like uh, like when you're cooking a recipe or something like that, and it's like add in this ingredient. And you're like, well, I don't have that ingredient, but will vegetable oil suffice? And the recipe's like, you can try. Hopefully, you don't burn your eyebrows off. And do I have scrap tiller? Uh, I don't. I am going to replace it with a boom buggy, just cause explosions, scrats, it fits. Carla, you have piqued my interest. I think a boom buggy would be very nice. Oh, it's dead. Okay, never mind. So this is gonna be an interesting experience because they have a whole load of swarmers right now because they are just summoning so many archers on top of themselves we're still how are we still leading on health curious question to be sure let's back the boom buggy up with some skin no 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 armor puff you don't get to give them armor silly boy come on can i wheel a doom this will that do enough no oh geez Oh, jeez. The little flightless dragon that could. That was amazing. So, Carlum, it appears that your deck is satisfactory to our needs of beating the enemy into the ground. Okay, I think I can lightning him. I wish I had bridge buddies, but I'll have to settle for skeletons. And then maybe Gorax Gate? For some easy dragon whelps. Could work. Could not. Could fail miserably. Who knows? Gonna be interesting. Ooh, that's gonna be a problem. That is going to be what we in the business classify as a problem. A big one. Dang, these guys actually have a really good deck. GG to them. Er, they don't exactly have the best deck. They just have a good comp. They just know when to play their cards. Yeah, just I don't want I don't want an HEG drone to be the thing that kills me. I want to go down with honor. I don't know if that was going down with honor, but it was going down with something. All right, so we've won one. We've lost one. Carlin, listen, 
listen, I'm sure you know what you're doing. You're contender rank two, but honestly, your deck. I also made a ton of changes to the deck composition. I don't have your Scratchillery. I don't have your Dragon's Nest. I don't have your Gorak Sacrifice, and I don't have your Once Bitten. But listen, I'm still gonna put the blame on you. I'm just kidding. I'm sure you're a wonderful individual, and I would love to meet you. That being said, we're going to go in for another fight. Oh, wait! Wait, look at that hell! Dang, Swarmers! You guys are really earning your keep, I guess? I mean, you're kind of forced to partake in this combat, but... I'm thinking that we should just cheese out spells at this point. Ooh, can this Wheel of Doom get him? Good job. Good jobs all around. Fantastic. This music that's playing right now is making me extremely introspective and I feel like I'm in a film noir. I wish there was a way that I could grayscale my camera right now to do that. Well, there probably is. I could probably use a color correction. This music that's playing right now is making me extremely introspective, and I feel like I'm in a film noir. Let's do one more, and then I will assign a grade. <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna be an interesting makeup. Come on, give me my lightning! I need the lightning! <laughs> It's just you want one card, you want one specific card, and you're like, I don't need any other cards besides this one. And the game re and the game refuses to give you said card until right when you don't need it anymore. What happened? Did that one freeze frame really do that much to me? Okay. No, cool. Good. Good. No, that's great. Sombrero Ravager, thank you for putting me out of my misery. We've played five, ma we've done our five matches with this deck, so let's go ahead and uh, think of a rating to give it. I'm thinking a solid seven scrats out of ten. Well, everybody, that'll about do it for today's video. I had a lot of fun recording and editing this episode. I probably put about over 20 hours of work into it total. I've realized that I kind of have a bad habit of over-editing certain sections. Not over-editing necessarily, but I'll just get to a spot where I think I could do something really cool, work on that for an hour and only get like 10 seconds of content out of it, and then rinse and repeat for 16 minutes worth of content. I'm learning so much about how to put things together, and I love all the positive energy you guys put out when I release a new video. Speaking of which, the next video I put up next week will also be on Minion Masters, but after that I'll probably post something new like Elder Scrolls Online or Warframe. Feel free to leave a comment letting me know what you thought about it, and also make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel because doing that helps support me more than you guys know. Have a fan tippity top -tastic night, you guys, and I'll see you next Friday. Peace out. Are you kidding me?